So one of my favorite questions that I get asked is, how would I do this within LiveWire? And what I mean by that is usually people say, okay, there's a specific interaction. How would you do this within LiveWire? And while I'm not a LiveWire expert, I have built most of the apps that I've built within Laravel in LiveWire. So usually I've come up against a few things that make it a little bit easier, or at least ways to think about how to build things within LiveWire, because it really comes down to not how would you do this within LiveWire, it comes down to when would you use Alpine.js and when would you use LiveWire? And that's really what this question that came from uh, David Kramer from Sentry today, where I was like, actually, how would I do this within LiveWire? Of course, I had thought it out in my head, but as we all know, that's not necessarily the best uh, indicator uh, if that's the best way to do something, if it's just in your head. So I figured let's actually dive into some code. Let's actually write out how I would do this. And it took me a little longer than I expected. I had some things I had to do tonight, but I figured it out. So why don't we uh, jump in? So David asks, I can't code jam my way to this one. Laravel folks, if you need SSR for your core app, how would you go about implementing the search header here at peated.com, one of David's apps? Um, I don't know if there's an easy way to say, like use inertia for this one component. And that would be really nice for those who um, haven't kept up with me. There is Mingle.js, which is uh, basically Oh, Mingle.js, which is basically a way to use reactor view components within a live wire application. That might be one way of solving something like this. There is the ability to use inertia SSR, which is what I uh, kind of suggested as well. So you can have the benefits of inertia with reactor view or Svelte, but still have it being server side rendered. But how would you do this within just plain LiveWire? And of course you do have to reach for Alpine.js, but this is what I came up with. And before I actually dive into the implementation, I first knew that I wanted to do something within Teleport. Teleport or Persist usually are the two single page application features, I guess, within LiveWire. So there's Teleport, which basically allows you to say, I want to do something and then push it to a specific place in my DOM. Um, it's powered by Alpine's teleport aspect, but that way I could say this search with impeded.com, you can see here that there's these, these sidebar items. There's some cool little loading that you might've seen there, sidebar items loading. And then within here, of course, there's, this is a full component within here, but then there's this component here at the top too, that I can search for something and then see all these things here. So, um, you know, if I'm searching now I can see this search here and it kind of just pops in where like then if I back out, I still see the previous component. And so I didn't build out the full website, but the big thing I think that David was kind of getting at here is how would you do the search header? for uh, this specifically, how would you navigate to specific items in a sidebar, search, and have that be its own separate component? So you're still technically in the sidebar. If you were to go back, you go to that component that was loaded in that main view. What would this look like? And so I gave it a shot. And this is the search demo. We have bottles, we have locations. Again, this is just kind of showing that this is all one part of the application from here up to here. It's all just one part of the, maybe the app um, layout. And then in here is a slot to slot in the different aspects of the sidebar nav. And I'm just showing the uh, a loading screen. So this is just sleeping for one second before I actually show any information but that's a full component. Within like distillers or brands, I could technically have another search item or just whatever information goes in this component here. But then I can start searching. As soon as I click into that search, automatically we are uh, kind of, I don't know, rewriting everything that was in that brand section of the sidebar. I can search uh, and then I can maybe, you know, click on something or I could just go back and we go to that all brands without changing anything. This is technically all client side, uh, but the search is still 
server side. We're getting information from the server. So I've clicked into this and now I'm in that specific bottle. So how would we do this? Let's see. It all really comes down to at least my specific implementation. Uh, this is the way that I think is might be the best. There's probably other ways of doing it, probably with multiple live wire components, but technically the app blade, which is, this is a layout. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm using Livewire Volt and Folio, which is, uh, Livewire Volt is single page Volt components. So single page Livewire components. So not having a separate app a separate server and view structure. And then Folio is technically just a page-based route or file-based routing, I should say, instead of, instead of having um, a specific uh, router uh, web.php, it's just all in these pages directory. So that doesn't really change too much of the actual implementation, it's just how it's going to look when I'm showing it. So I have this app.blade.php, which is a layout file um, it's just, while it's technically a Volt component, it's mostly just because of how I had it set before. There is no uh, at Volt, which is kind of giving it interactivity. But here's the kicker to say. So this is the whole sidebar as well as search. So we're implementing a Livewire search component there, which you might see comes over to, uh, to here, right here, Livewire search. But it's this main that has a slot. Well, what's happening here? Uh, let's see. So we have this main of slot with Alpine data. X data is searching false. And if the search dash open dot window, uh, we're going to change in searching to true or we're going to change is searching to false. And this at search dash open dot window is in uh, an Alpine event that we're listening for specifically from the live wire search component. So what that's doing is basically uh, if it's searching is true again in Alpine completely client side because this is a, a blade, a server render component within client side, we're saying we're going to show the slot basically whatever is in bottles, brands, distillers, locations, etc. Or if it's not, then we're going to pass in an ID of search content. And this is really crucial to the actual implementation. So in our Livewire search component, I'll pop this open, or pop, uh, close this up a little bit. Livewire search component, there's a couple of things. First, we're getting the URL state here. And then this is a classic Livewire search where we're saying um, we're just returning all of the bottles that we had listed um, with the, our like the search parameters. But then I have this um, updating property as well as this reset search property. And basically this is where we kind of intermingle server side live wire and client side Alpine. Um, again, it might not be as clean as using something like React where that whole layout is going to be uh, is going to be a client side component that we could technically server render. But I think it is fairly simple and maybe fairly clean. Basically, what we're doing here is um, let's let's start with this X data. So we're we have this search dash open dot window, and that's a event that we're having that we're watching. If it's open is true, open equals false. When we when we close that window, and then we are saying we're. Uh, inputting this data. So if we have the input focused, we're going to dispatch the search dash opened event. Um, and then if we close, that's the button to the side of the search, and then we're going to reset the search. And in that reset search, we're also dispatching search closed. Again, that's going to that uh, app.blade.php where we're seeing this uh, open dot window closed dot window. So search closed and then search opened. And right here, that's what we are doing as well. So search content teleport. This is the big kicker here because we're teleporting it to that specific div um, right here. X show is searching. We're going to import that search content div. And basically here's where we get to actually show all of the bottles. So relatively simple for the most part, and I can uh, link this specific code uh, in the in a GitHub repo as well. 
But the, the big kicker here is it's less about how the implementation is working and which parts are Alpine and which parts are actually Livewire. Livewire is technically only handling the actual structure and navigation of the whole application. It's still all server rendered. And while you can't turn off JavaScript and still get the same experience, you would still be able to, um, you still, Livewire is, handling all of the navigation with wire navigate to get these um, to get these navigations within each page like the bottles.blade.php page it is a lazy component so that just means that uh, we are going to load everything else in this case the app the uh, x dash layouts dot app before we load everything in the page itself and basically, this is what allows us to have, now that we have this live wire of the actual search, but the Alpine to trigger the actual uh, teleport skeleton, I guess, if you want to say it, to be able to overwrite or replace whatever information is putting in that specific slot. So again, click in and we can you know, search for something specific, but click back and we get that original slot. So this is all right here is client side. I could technically, you know, inspect and we could um, see here that this, uh, this div, um, it's probably because I clicked out, so we're not seeing it as well. But that that's all client side uh, interaction happening. If I was to click into it, we see that clicking back, clicking into it, click back and we see that navigation happen again. That all this search is still happening on the server, but the actual displaying of the search contents is happening on the client that we're replacing the original server rendered slot. So I hope this gives a little bit of insight as to how you might do something like this within Livewire and Alpine.js. Um, and that way you have a little bit more of a modern feel within an application. Is it the best solution for this? Maybe it's not even the best solution within Livewire, but I know Livewire pretty well. And so if I was to build this within inertia, it probably would take me a little bit longer just because I haven't, I don't have as pr much practice within certain elements like this. So is it possible? Yes, is it the best? Probably not, but it, for a application where you just need this for one component, it doesn't do too bad. So yeah, hopefully that gives you some insight as to how to use Alpine.js Livewire in order to teleport something and then also in order to send events to do something within actual Alpine client-side data.